Right, this is just a very short video um, that I wanted to make and I'll do an extended one later. Um, but, um, so we got stopped out on the first attempt um, at break even. I was talking about being in level three. Um, Asia is, is definitely, well, it's not really the place to, to be if, you, if, you, if you're trading the Stacey Burke method so far from what I've seen. Um, if you're looking for the fast explosive moves, they're going to come in London and um, in the US. And a mixture of the two. So we took a short um, um, in level three in Asia. Now I moved it to break even because I suspected that the market would that one, two, three, that, that that was not the peak of the day. Well, it was in fact, but I was anticipating a move up into the peak of the day, which we got um, as Frankfurt opened. And um, my stop was two pips below the high of that move. Um, so I would have been stopped out. However, I thought that what we would see would be, uh, let's have a look. Right, I thought, so I need to look at this, I need to go through the back testing in these videos. But on day three, I thought that we needed a higher high of the sequence of day one, two, and three in the money flow. But it appears that we don't. Um, and a peak formation at the round numbers will suffice. But I was fearing a move, fearing is not the right word, but I was anticipating a move to take out breakout traders, take up break, breakout traders into the um, above one and above parity and for uh, 120 to be the target on that move for a move down uh, for the rest of the day <clears throat> now we didn't get that we got we did get the move up into my stop loss so rightly or wrongly I moved to break even um, in anticipation of that um, now then what happened we, we got the breakdown um, it just smashed through the um, structure level, right? So it just completely wiped it out. There was, was there a comeback? Let's have a look. Mm, barely. Um, you know, so you want to be getting in somewhere below on the for the retest. Um, we had, well, we didn't even have the M formation really. I mean, if you want to call that the M, I suppose. Um, this was the M. That's solid. Right, so that was the M, I guess. And we sort of came up into the neckline by missing it a fraction from the nose. Um, anyhow, so bear that in mind. So that would have been the entry. So the confirmation with the 15 minute close and then you're looking just get in just just sell it at market and put your stop loss up because um, this thing isn't coming back right so and we were just about yeah we were in the first hour of at the end of the first hour of frankfurt um and then we came down 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 now i wasn't at my screen for that um, I was actually on a night out. I came back to check what had happened. Um, I wasn't intending to, to do anything. I mean, you shouldn't be uh, tweaking or entering the market if you're, you know, not not fully <laughs> um, um, in the right frame of mind, let's just say. So um, anyway. But in anticipation of, um, I actually took it at market. I believe it was actually here when I came in. And I was expecting, well, this is just going to melt, you know. Um, 
for a move into anyway so cut long story short it paid off right and, and the trade worked out um it just i mean i entered and went to bed and in those timings it just melted so talk about good timing but uh you know i can't really claim that one because it, um i should have been up here um you know if i was trading that session i would have been there from the start monitoring this price activity not not trying to get in on the train but i mean there was a pullback so it was the first pullback so you know i might have been adding to the position at that point um or i would have been moving stop to break even on the breakdown of this structure so whatever and then in in the us again if you're coming into the us you know you um if you come into the US, you would be looking at this going, right, okay, well, this is this is wiping out day two uh, longs. Um, and now you're targeting day one longs that are still in the money. Um, and then that M formation there would have been your trigger to, on that close, to be getting in. Um, now, yeah, to be getting in, you know, at 98.90 or something for the melt. Anyway, happy days. Um, that was a nice three and a bit, three, almost four hour on that trade. So 3.5 to round it down.